Hello everyone, welcome you all. In this video, I am going to show you how to perform mouse actions in Protractor. And in my previous videos, I already shown you how to perform mouse over action and double click action. Now, especially in this video, I am going to focus on right click action in Protractor. So for that, uh, we we need an application. So let me open my application. This is a non Angular JS application, and we can also do the we can also use same method for Angular JS applications. Now let me open my application here. And on this particular application, we have an option called right click. Uh, let it open. Yeah, once you got the button, so here you can see one small button called right click me, right? So when you right click on this, we will show, we can see some of the options here. This is basically context menu, right? So how we can perform the right click? If I do the normal click, nothing is happened. So when you do the right click only, we will get these options. So how we can perform this action? And even it is a non-angular JS application also, we need to do the same operations and we can use same methods. Now we'll see how we can do this by using Protractor. So for this, I'm opening my Visual Studio code and here on the test cases, I'm creating the new test. So this is a right click action. This is also called as a context click. So I'll say right click dot JS. Now I'll write a describe block. So first block is describe. And uh, here I'll say my suit suit name of my describe block and then I'll write a function which we need to inside this function we can implement multiple it blocks so here the first it block i'm writing and here my test name is i'll say right click right click and then the test we need to implement in the function so now inside this uh, it block the first thing is uh, i'm automating the non angular js application so we need to set one property called browser dot wait for angular enable false so once you specify this browser dot wait for angular enable so we can automate non angular js applications now then we need to launch my application for that i say browser dot get and capture the application url and here in the double quotations we can place this url so this will open this url on the browser and after that i'll maximize my page i'll say browser dot manage dot say window dot maximize so this command will maximize the page so after that now we need to interact with this element so first of all before right clicking the element i can just capture this element locate the element so when i right click here we will get context menu options so instead of doing this what i can do is i'll just say press f12 button for on your keyboard then the elements so html is highlighted so show this element and see here this is a html line which is highlighted right click me and for that if you see here there is a class option is there class attribute is there so i can use this class attribute to locate the element so i'm just capturing the class now locate the element by using element method element and here i'll say by dot class name i'm using class name by dot class name is a locator and uh, or in single quotation or double quotation you can just place your class name and save this element in a variable this is lowercase letter i'll say variable and this is basically a button so now i captured the button once you capture the button element and then i need to perform the right click action so to perform the right click action we have a special method is available in protractor that is First, we need to say browser browser dot actions browser dot actions and inside this uh, we can directly use a method called a click method click method but we need to pass a two different arguments on which element we need to perform the right click so that element we have to pass as a one argument comma and the second argument will be like this I'll say protractor dot button dot i'll say right so this is the option which we need to pass as a second argument and then it will perform the right click action on the button so after completion of this action then perform the action perform is a lower case letter i'll say perform that's it so this particular statement will perform the right click action after that uh, but uh, for seeing that uh, action clearly i'm just uh, waiting for some time by putting browser dot sleep here i'll say five seconds done 
So now browser.actions.click. Here we say button, whichever on which element we need to perform the right click. We need to specify that uh, element, comma, protractor.button.write. So this is the option which we need to pass to perform the right click action on the element. Now this is done. Now let us execute. So before execution, before execution, we need to check the spec file is configured in the com.js. Now my spec file name is right click.js. So here I'm changing. I'll say right click, right click dot js and now save it. Then go to terminal, new terminal. Now here I am running this code. To run this code, we need to say protector, go to the conf folder, wherever your conf.js file is present. Inside this, my file is conf.js. Now when you run this, it will launch my application. It will maximize it, find the element, then perform the right click action. So enter. Right, so now it is launching my browser and then launching my application. So now it is end with an error. So now we'll see what is an error it is thrown. Browser is not a function. So I think there is small syntax error we have here. Let us uh, cross check. And here, uh, my suit, I'll say function. Okay, and I think we have missed one bracket here. So let me properly write down. So this is a bracket and it block, I can say right click is fine and a function and close and open. I think we missed one more bracket. Let me cross check. So this is closed and this is closed. Browser is not a function. It is saying, I think somewhere we got an error. So browser dot wait for angular enable. This is also fine. Browser dot get browser dot manage. So I think somewhere we are getting some issues. So I think this one, let's cross check. Yeah, this is a browser, right? So browser is a, not a function guys. This is a basically a keyword. So we have to remove this bracket. Okay. Now save it and then execute one more time. Right. So now it is launched my web page and opening my URL. Now you can observe this. It will perform the right click action on the button. Yeah. Now it will perform the right click action. Now we, we can see all the options. Then uh, obviously the page will be closed. So after right clicking on the element, we haven't performed any other action for the action. So the browser is closed. So we can continue with the rest of the code. So to select the options and all, all of the, all of the stuff. And then I've just shown you here how to perform the right click action on the element. Okay. So this is a method we have to use browser.actions.click and specify the on which element we have to perform the right click action then followed by protractor.button.write. So this argument we need to pass. Okay, so that's all uh, to perform the right click action. That's how we need to perform the right click action on the element in protractor. So that's all for this video guys. In the next video, I'll show you how to perform the drag and drop.